Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. Uh, before I get into the review for this little figure, uh, I just want to mention that um, I just moved my kind of like reviewing location from one room to my actual Gundam room. Um, the previous room was a lot smaller, so the light was able to kind of like be more spread out. Um, so the lighting was just a little bit better in that room. Here, uh, it's a bigger room and uh, the way I have everything positioned is not very flattering for my light situation. Um, so until, I was actually going to go buy lamps today, but it started raining and I was like, I really didn't want to go out in the rain. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow, if, if it's not raining, I'm going to go out in town, uh, buy a couple of lamps because it's still going to be another uh, week and a half before I'll get my lamps uh, from the mail. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and talk about this figure. So this figure is from the Assault Kingdom line. Uh, I never messed with any of these before, so I'm just kind of like really intrigued and to see like what the the details and like the features and everything are for this little figure. Um, it looks like this is number. Th 33 in the line I'm guessing um, I haven't really like messed with any of these so I don't really know how many they there are um, looks like this is a part of this little um, volume this little lineup so you got the um, humbrum humbrum I can't pronounce that I know it's a uh, it should be this one and then you got the camphor and then you also have the uh, the mark two a Yug version but um, overall, it looks like it has a lot of great posability, so um, I'm, I'm pretty excited to go ahead and crack this open. Uh, I don't I don't know exactly what the retail price is on here. I don't really see a retail on here. Um, but I paid $4 for it, so uh, it's probably going to be around like $6 if you go ahead and order it online or something like that. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and crack it open. Okay, so here's all the packaging. Um, you do get uh, some gum right here, and you get pretty much all this stuff for the figure. So it's all coming in individual wrappings, which uh, is really, really good. Don't see any kind of issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this assembled off screen. Okay, and here he is. So um, overall, it does have some some nice little details in it. Uh, I really didn't think it was gonna have uh, all this kind of detail uh, in such a little small figurine, but it looks pretty good. It's obviously missing a lot of different color uh, applications in certain areas, uh, but I think for the most part, it does look pretty good. Um, the posability is pretty, you know, pretty good. Uh, so the shoulder can pretty much rotate. Looks like it's going to be a full 360. Let's look at the head. Uh, the head can turn back and forth like so. Uh, now, obviously, these horns are kind of just, you know, little plastic. So um, you just, I don't know if you want to go ahead and try and harden these out and make them, you know, however. But it kind of does look a little funky. Uh, now the uh, look like the bicep has a full 360 uh, rotation and it has a really really nice bend right there. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the waist waist can go ahead and swivel back and forth. Uh, the skirts the skirts look like they can come up. Uh, side skirts are all uh, are actually connected to the back skirts and it looks like the back skirts do not uh, move at all. And legs can come out that much. It can go out that much and backwards about that much. And then obviously the leg can go ahead and you know bend pretty nicely. I don't know if this is, I think this is only a one point, or, uh, yeah, one point articulation. So these little like pods right here, these things can uh, move around. And then the feet, um, these, looks like this is just a little rubber piece for the ankle guard. And then the foot is on a little ball joint. But other than that, uh, the backpack, uh, this, you know, the wings can move in and out, and then these parts can rotate up and down, and then it's just going to be connected on a little peg inside there. Uh, but overall, it looks pretty dope. Um, it does come with an uh, extra pair of hands, so you're going to have these little open hands uh, if you want to go ahead and utilize those. And it's also going to have this uh, shield and this gun, uh, so you can go ahead and just plug the gun right into the hand like so and then you can go ahead and plug the shield right into the back of the arm like this so looks pretty good um i mean i, I like it. it looks like it's going to be able to get into a lot of different poses uh so it's just kind of like your imagination and definitely pose it into whatever kind of articulation you would like it to be posed into. Okay, so my overall thoughts on this little figure is, you know, pretty positive. Uh, I really do want to collect more of them. Um, you know, some of the off ones, like I'm not really a fan of the, um, the camp for that much. Uh, some of like just some of the like Xeon mobile suits, I'm not really that you know fond of. Uh, but if I do find some, I think there's definitely like the Banshee, the Unicorn, the RX-78. Uh, I think there was a 
a build burning, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so like if I'm on about and I kind of just you know happen to stumble across any of the uh, Assault Kingdom stuff and I see a mobile suit that I'm just kind of like, oh, this is, this is a really cool looking mobile suit, um, I'll probably go ahead and pick it up. But uh, overall, I think for four bucks, this is this is an okay buy. It, I would I would say, hey, if you really want um, just another edition of a certain mobile suit in your collection. Hey, go ahead and pick it up. So uh, I like the G Self. It's it's a really really cool, unique looking mobile suit. Even though I think the series is kind of trash in my opinion, uh, at least the mobile suit looks pretty dope. So without further ado, uh, we're gonna go ahead and include right here. But I just want to let y'all know that tomorrow I'm gonna de I'm definitely getting my lighting set up uh, appropriately. Uh, so that way the next review is going to be. Let me go ahead and grab them real quick. It's going to be on the. Let me zoom out. This guy, the high grade ground Gundam. So uh, this guy is going to be the next little review and that's gonna be tomorrow. He's looking all kinds of nice right now. So this is the new one that just came out last Friday. Um, and I, I was working on him and I just kind of like stopped because I got like kind of tired. Uh, but right now I'm definitely excited to go ahead and do the review for him. But I, I need to do him justice. So I need some better lighting. But I'll be seeing you guys in the next review. And uh, you know, let, let me know in, your, in the comments below what you think about the uh, Assault Kingdom stuff. So if you've ever purchased any and you kind of like enjoyed them or if you just want to get into them, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And I'll see you in the next review. See you later guys. Bye bye.